Hello, welcome to this short video tour of Maya 3. Maya 3 is a 2014 build Halbarassi 55. She is offered for sale by her first owners who carefully specified her as experienced yachtsman and also this is the third Halbarassi they've owned. Um, so she, they've really taken advantage of all the experience building the previous two boats. Uh, here we are in the cockpit obviously, you've got some custom made lovely grey cushions there for lounging out, a large table that extends to seat six people and all carefully protected by this beautiful uh, windscreen which is a uh, tempered glass in the aluminium frame. This boat is in the med, as you can probably tell she's got a large bimini that covers the entire cockpit and the helm station. It has uh, access points so you can see through uh, while you're trimming the sails and see up the mast. Along the wide side decks uh, we have opening hatches for the saloon. Um, as you can see there are additional uh, roller cars for the uh, Genoa sheets. She has the uh, removable inner four stay option added. Strong midship cleats protected by these beautiful stainless steel uh, rubbing strakes. Maya 3 also has the uh, teak over the coach roof the life raft here is in date until 2020 and the same goes for all the safety equipment on board. She's in commission and absolutely ready to go. As you might expect on a boat of this size we have the Selden hydraulic option uh, for the mainsail and the Genoa. We also have manual hydraulics controlling the backstay and the kicker. This beautiful teak if I come down you can see it's, it's like new there's no wear no scrubbing and of course it's the very importantly it's the bonded decks all the hatches are flush they've been protected by these uh, again custom made grey covers the glass there is in perfect condition we have the uh, electric windlass this is actually handling a hundred meters of stainless steel chain uh, you can see the push buttons on the deck there there's also a remote control at the cockpit on the helm station Coming forward on the starboard bow roller is the bowsprit. Maya 2 comes with the furling Jenica to go with this bowsprit. Hydraulic furling system for the Genoa. The Genoa was recently replaced in 2017 and it is a tri cut cloth. Let's give you the view back of this beautiful boat. The hydraulics are coming out of the deck here on the starboard side. It's all uh, very well protected by these guards. Strong shrouds, three of which holding up the triple spreader rig. While we're here, we can just go up the mast. Uh, she has a spinnaker pole stored on the mast. Triple spreaders, jumper spreaders at the top as well. There's a radar reflector up there and the wind instruments as you'd expect. The backstay is uh, insulated for SSB radio. Coming back you can see the size of the bimini that's uh, covering the cockpit. We're underneath the blue leather cover over the uh, windscreen is the uh, additional canvas spray hood. The centre section of the windscreen opens to allow the breeze to come through. Uh, the gas lock is here on the starboard side. It's very big, big enough for at least two bottles in there. Uh, the shore power comes in here also. As you can see, there's an additional uh, inlet for the air conditioning. Engine vents are here. Uh, all the winches are electric. These are the Lumar 65 Evo winches for the Genoa sheets and the main sheet behind. All the lines accessible from the helm's position. The signature Habarassi cockpit drains here. They allow water to wash and drain below the waterline, which saves the uh, marking of the hull. We have the gin and tonic push pit seats here. And on the starboard side is the, uh, the stainless steel radar pole. That's a four kilowatt Raymarine color radar. Uh, integrated is the, is the uh, crane for the outboard. And here we have the controls, electric push button controls for the hydraulic swim platform which drops down here. There's also a hot and cold swim shower and a ladder for easy access. On the lazarette back here, there are two large lockers. 
for stowage. I'll just open one of them. These are watertight in here. We have currently stowed the Jenica. There's also the dinghy in the other side. And this is ideal for fender stowage as well, once you're out of port. It's the hydraulic backstay there, which is uh, controlled from the cockpit. These cushions have been made for sunbathing. Make use of this space, which is over the uh, impressive owner's cabin. If I just come into the cockpit here, give you an idea of the helm station. Uh, I've got a large wheel, which is uh, directly attached to the steering pedestal uh, column by stainless steel rods. Um, Multifunction display, engine controls. She also has the bow and the stern thrusters. Joysticks on the port side here. Uh, road counter for the anchor. Cockpit speaker, uh, manual hydraulic controls are just here by the helm station. Uh, looking forward through the uh, glass, you can keep a very clear watch, very safe watch. And also over the companionway there are I-70 instruments again by Raymarine. Uh, down below on Maya 3, uh, we are standing obviously in the main saloon area. This is a really open and bright space uh, that you can spend a lot of time very comfortably with the port lights just above the water line here on each side. Uh, you can get to view over the anchorage or marina. From the comforts of the saloon, there are numerous uh, large hatches, many of them opening to give uh, ventilation here. Maya 3 uh, does have air conditioning. There are compressors that serve the saloon and all the cabins, uh, should you wish to be more comfortable. Movement around such a big area has made possible uh, these large uh, vertical poles and the uh, grab rail in the ceiling allow you to move forward and backwards while the boat's at sea. Coming down the um, four very wide and safe companionway steps, the bottom one which has extra storage for uh, sea boots and shoes, we come into the sea galley, um, thus called because of the U-shaped uh, design and arrangement. Uh, this allows you to stand in there very safely preparing food. Uh, this uh, return, and I just want to have a close-up of the, uh, the condition of the teak, uh, sorry, mahogany here, which is near perfect. You can't really find any marks on Meyer above or below. Um, you've got a double stainless steel sink with hot and cold mixer tab, and also uh, 220 volt serves the microwave in here. Uh, the fridge is here, um, Force 10, uh, screw, uh, burn, uh, three burner cooker. Interestingly, the um, the owners specified that Haberasi make this uh, cupboard here a vented door to allow them to store fresh fruit and vegetables more effectively. The uh, sole comes up and there's a lot of storage under there, ideal for uh, drinks, etc., where they will stay moderately cold. Uh, there is uh, the large saloon table with two leaves. There's additional seating that comes out and so you can sit six to eight people around here quite comfortably. Um, you probably notice as we go through the boat, we have these um, uh, plastic uh, silver covers. They are two 30 volt outlets. She does have an inverter on board as well as a generator. The, just pan across the main bulkhead where you have your sailing instruments, uh, vanity lighting. All the lighting on Maya is LED. Forward of the main bulkhead, we come to uh, a, a short walkthrough, and on the starboard side is the uh, a bunk room. Now I've lifted up these bunks, the, the top bunk obviously, it is wider than the standard specification, and also this uh, storage here is an uh, additional request from the owners. There's a large hanging locker, that's the air conditioning outlet. Behind the door is a vanity station with a mirror. On the port side opposite is one of the heads compartments. So here we have electric heads, which is serviced by a holding tank, which has a deck pump out as well as gravity drain. Um, some nice mirrors over the Corian sink, which is a hot and cold mixer you'd expect. And here we have a separate shower compartment, which does drain overboard and has a perspex screen to protect uh, you protect any, any splash overs. The last cabin forward is the uh, V-berth cabin. 
Underneath here is the retractable, retractable bow thruster and a spare uh, fixed three blade propeller. Vanity table to starboard, a hanging locker to port. We also have a big opening hatch above. And the insert there at the end of the bunk allows this to become a very wide, long and comfortable berth. Back in the saloon on the port side here, we have uh, plenty of storage below and behind. Also becomes a uh, sea berth, there are lee cloths that allow this to be used as a sea berth along with the, one of the bunks in the aft cabin. Here is the control center, navigator seat, forward facing chart table, plenty of space here. Um, you have the Raymarine multifunction display, I think that's a 12 inch display, touch screen and a multi display as well. On the uh, outboard side of the chart table is where you'd expect to control all the 12 and 24 volt systems on board. You can monitor the batteries, uh, run the generator. She also has uh, monitor chargers, inverters, etc. Heating, fuel, water. It's all done here. When you're sitting in the navigator seat, you're not, uh, you know, you're not um, blocking the passage of anyone moving through the boat. Uh, top loading fridge again can be made into a freezer. And there's the walkthrough down to the arse cabin, bookshelf on the near side. There's plenty of uh, standing room here. It's, uh, I think it's well over six, six foot six. Um, hanging lockers on the outboard side. There are three. The final aft two were specified to bigger doors that go right down to uh, the sole level, allows you to use this space more effectively. An additional chart press above. Here we have the air conditioning controls for the aft cabin, which has a two plus one berth arrangement with a vanity chair opposite a mirror in the center. Underneath here is where you'll find all the batteries, 12 volt, 24 volt engine start batteries, and also the steering gear, My, uh, uh, air conditioning compressor sits under there. She has a uh, redundancy in the autopilot function. There are two electric rams attached directly to the steering quadrant. Very large berth, and again, you have these wonderful uh, port lights in the hull. A great view to wake up to. I'll just show you the vanity unit, the big mirror here, and uh, storage. Again, all these fiddles, not only they're in fantastic condition, but they just allow you to move, hold on to something wherever you are in the boat. You can move around, whether you're at sea or at anchor. Uh, another electric, electric toilet here, served by its own holding tank. Step through a little further and you come to another shower compartment just in here the first of the mechanical systems i want to show you is the water maker it's an mt3200 water maker and it has the auto flush feature so you can leave the boat unattended for long periods of time like all the mechanical spaces on my 3 this is really very clean and tidy immediately inside the engine door for my 3 you come onto this platform which allows you to sit right in the middle of all everything that's going on uh, the main uh, feature is obviously the d480 volvo penta this is uh, running through a hydraulic gearbox to a gory propeller the uh, alternator is being uh, upgraded to 110 amps. This is uh, because uh, we also uh, specified a larger battery capacity. She has seven 240 amp hour AGM batteries for the 24 hour service. Here is the 10 watt whisper generator in its own capsule. This whole space is uh, heat and sound insulated as you can see. Behind we have uh, the heating as well as some of the high pressure pumps for the water maker and refrigeration. Just show you the bilges, beautifully clean, lots of access to sea cocks and things. Uh, as we pan around this last bulkhead, you can see the two, the 50 amp 24 volt charger. This is the hot water tank. The two and a half thousand watt inverter and the 12 volt charger. Nothing's on top of each other. It's all right there, gets to it. This long stainless steel rod is the coupling from the helm's position directly onto the steering quadrant, which gives you a really good feedback when sailing the yacht.